Hi guys, Cindy here. It's Saturday and today's the day we're gonna do our nails again, okay? So let's get started. I'm gonna move the camera down and hopefully down enough so that you can see. Let me try to get it situated. So I need to try to keep over here. I'm gonna put this here. Okay, so I've got these uh, foils from Amazon. I think Dipped and Pretty had some too. I don't know if they're the exact same foils. Uh, these were a little bit harder than using some of the others. They were, um, I don't know, they just were, uh, they were a little slicker and uh, they were just a little bit harder. Anyway, these black ones, the one we're going to use, we'll use the others later. And these came with a little instruction card and what did they say? Uh, I did not follow these instructions. I used nail glue, but it says prepare your nails and apply a base coat and dry it. Apply colored nail polish and dry it, but not totally dry. Keep it a little bit sticky. Use the stick to press hardly, uh, to press hardly the nail foil on your nails for a while. Then remove the foil. Remo uh, remove the foil and the Foil pattern should be stuck to your nail and dry to it. Seal with a top coat and protect. Okay, so uh, I didn't do that. I used my favorite star nail glue. I didn't trust it. Um, I just didn't trust it. Okay, and the nails I used today, I like this shape and I hadn't used it in a while. These little ballerina shades. I've talked about these nails before. They came from uh, Amazon, and they I just I just like the shape. Um, I would have cut, liked to have some clear ones that you know could be kind of jelly, but they were so I didn't worry about it. I just painted solid colors on it, and then the polish. You know I don't really like gel because of I have reactions, so I just don't like it. And my favorite is Sally Hansen. You can get this at Walmart or Ulta or, you know, Walgreens or whatever. So I've used some red. And this is a pretty color. This red extreme wear. And I used some black extreme wear. And then I used just plain white. I used the white as the base color underneath the foil because, um, I don't know, I have a lot of white and I don't really use much white so I thought well we would do that and then I'm going to I hadn't used this yet I'm going to top it off with this Sally Hansen dries instantly top coat yeah. but I'm going to do that after I put them on and I should have already put them on and I didn't do that or some of them on so this is what we got to look like um uh this is what we got to look like, and this is what we're gonna do the other five of them. And I got these little charms from Amazon or Wish or something, and I actually do not recommend getting any because they're all mixed together. Ugh, my eyes and my back trying to dig out some. And I already did some that are going in the trash. Those just, it just wasn't my thing. So I ended up just, I thought, well, just for a little bit of an accent, I just put, a little one here and a little one here on top of the, the heart. And I did have to touch up the full a little bit with a little bit of black paint. And so we'll probably have to do that too. So anyway, I'm gonna throw these in the trash right now. And you guys probably get good, clever ideas. I don't. So um, anyway, we tried. It was junk. I'm not even gonna say, try to save it because this one here, charm apparently the silver scraped off the back of it and it's a mess so we're not using that so we've got the second that started uh oh sorry about that sorry about that and um so let's get the foils on real quick so um like i said these were just a little bit harder to use i'm gonna go ahead and where's my scissors cut me off a piece so that they're not this isn't quite as cumbersome. I would like to have a few, we got this heart and this heart. Hopefully that'll be, I can get three nails out of this. If not, we'll cut off some more. Scissors are not very sharp. So let's put this over here. And um, 
The last one I did a pinky with a heart and the big one with the heart. Uh, it was so. How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? Well, we'll start off with the big one. If I have to cut off more, I'll just have to cut off more. And you, I'm, I'm wanting to set the little heart in the center. It's kind of hard to do, but we're gonna give it a try. Okay. And hope and this little stick did come with those foils. But you know, there's different brands of foil. And I think I uh I don't think that one had any um foil glue. Some of them I get has foil glue with it too. And here's the foil glue that I use. I like the non-gel kind because I just had such bad luck with gel. Even like if I'm not doing it on my fingers, like if I use uh, uh, a nail polish that's got, I don't know, some metallic, I guess, or something in it, uh, it will change the color of the polish when you put it under the lamp. So just forget it. We're just going to use the non-lamp kind. So, let's see. Oh my goodness. There they are. I pulled out two mortal charms for this hand, too. I didn't want to lose those. Took me forever to dig through this. This was awful. Trying to dig through this and find what you want. They're just all mixed together. I'm not, not to do that again. And I have plenty of little rhinestones now. I just don't have any ideas. Yeah, I, I shudder to think what would happen if we'd follow those instructions. We'd probably pull the nail polish off too. This one's gonna have to be touched up. Well, the heart turned out pretty anyway. So, now what are we gonna do next? Hmm. Let's do the pinky just all solid if we can. I hope I'm not messing this up. Okay, the last one, I didn't get it over far enough. You know, you don't want to waste them. Of course, I don't know why I care so much because I'm the only one. There's no way I'm going to use all these just on myself, especially when they come out with new stuff all the time. Oh, speaking of new stuff all the time, you know, Apri has come out with these chrome nails. Um, I don't know if I want to spend the money on them right now, at least not until I see a review, because like um, when I watched the little video on their site, it showed you having to, uh, what was it? Use some kind of primer on the, on the top of the chrome. This was after you got it on your, Finger. This had nothing to do with um, getting it on your finger. And then, uh, so you had to use this primer on there. And then you had to use their base coat and their top coat. And I'm just like, well, will any base coat and top coat work? You know, I just don't know. And um, is it going to scuff off? Is it going to last the whole week or whatever, that chrome? They need to do a video and tell us a little bit about it and put it on YouTube. Okay, these are definitely still gonna need some touching up. Now we got the last one. Now what are we gonna do with this one? If we do this one, we'll be upside down, which... So... I can either go up, which I don't want to do that, or I can go down with it upside down. Okay, well, let's just do upside down. Okay. 
Well, just, it's a miracle that it wasn't, you know, kind of fit in there like that. So, are y'all going to get the new chrome stuff from Apri? What do y'all think about it? Do y'all not like... I guess if you're a, a nail tag and have clients or something, you know, you might be able to use it and get your money's worth. But, like, um, just the regular nails, um, I don't know, just for one person doing it all on their own. I've seen some chrome powder. The times I've used chrome, they it seemed like it got dull pretty quick. And so I definitely don't want to do that. I even bought some like little press-ons from um, Amazon. And seems like, you know, it looked pretty for a little while. But then, you know, since you wash your hands, it seems like the next day it was just flat orange. Not even, you know, so you just think, well, why bother? Okay, so we got this done. Now, I want to touch this up a little bit. Let me get my paintbrush. I don't have any gray. I just have some black, but we can kind of spruce that up a little bit. And potentially, it might have looked better with a black back instead of a white back. I don't know. I'm afraid that would make it look awful dark. Plus, you know, like, I use, a, you know... I have a lot of white, and I'm not using a lot of white. So, let's kind of just touch this up just a little bit. You know, help it out. So you don't have all these white spots in here. I'm just trying to get rid of some of the big white spots that's in the middle. That's in the middle of the black or gray. Well, I don't have any gray. We're just going to have to use what we've got. Okay, there's one. Let's see about the other one. So you get these done a little bit. You know, it's not going to be perfect, but we can get some of it. That's the one thing about foil if you had these kind of uh, curved nails it will definitely leave a little bit of a mark or a blank spot sometimes okay okay let's look at the big thumb Just left a big old spot here. Kind of gray that out some. What else we got that we need to fix? Mm -mm. Looks like I got a little bit of black on where it's supposed to be white, but that's okay. It just looked like I hand painted it. There you go, we're almost done. Okay, good enough, better than it was anyway. So let's get that out of the way. And then I pulled out two little decorations and I just put them on the hearts. Um, and I'm gonna use my A little bit of glue. 
where do we want to put the flower? We've got a bow and a flower. I'm still going to stick with the top of it, even though it's upside down. So here's a little, I found a little white bow. In the midst of all that, you think you would think in all those, uh, all of those things, I would have had an easier time finding something, but I didn't. So we're gonna let that dry, okay? And then we start the other one here, and I'm gonna put these on off camera. So what I'm gonna do is we'll put on. I should have put on some of these first so you could see them. Um, but I'm going to put these on real quick, hopefully, and uh, then um, I will top coat them off camera. They look pretty shiny now. The reason I don't like to top coat them first is because like when I press on them, I'll get fingerprints or something on them, and I don't want to. So let me grab some more glue. I'm not going to use that press on glue or that uh, dip glue, not unless I just have to, I will. Okay, I've been using the same glue forever. I hope we have enough to last. <laughs> so, um, this one shouldn't take as long as the last time because the last one was super curved. And I did wear those um, all day for two days, but I decided to take them off today because I got uh, groceries and stuff to do and to bring in a bunch of groceries and a lot of big water bottles and stuff. I, I like them, I thought they're nice. I have to tell you though, I didn't even wear makeup. I just sort of, uh, you know, did the skincare yesterday and I still about poked my eye. So you have to be careful with those long pointy things. And, but I liked them. Now, how I prep my nails, as you know, I just, um, you know, take all the polish off, try to push the cuticles back. Although it's just been a couple of days since I did that. And um, so I didn't have to push the cuticles back this time. And then I put a couple coats of like some kind of nourishing, clear nourishing um, polish on them. And looks like I got way too much there. So we're gonna pour some of that in this one. Okay, yeah. And between with that two coats, uh, those two little double adhesives, they came off really good. Now, and I'm gonna sit in off camera, sit and push these down and stuff a lot. And you see where I've even pushed it now? It's kind of dulled at some. That's the reason I don't like to. Um, Put the top coat on first. And I did that polish a long time ago. I did it um, several hours ago and it still kind of left a fingerprint. In fact, I had to borrow the red and black from my second set for this set because of uh, redoing the red and black. So that set's really gonna have her propensity to stick. But after I get the top coat on, it'll get that little thumbprint right out. So, and uh, I'm not holding them very long, but you know, off camera, I'm gonna really be pressing those and make sure, sure they stay on. I'm just trying to keep the video going for a little bit better pace. Now this is my injured finger. And I took the nails off last night so that they could air dry because it seemed like this finger's not getting enough air. And you can see where, um, anyway, it's fine, you know, it's fine. It's going to heal. My pinky did the same thing. It took forever to heal up. It seems like if I can let it air dry every now and then, it'll do a lot better. So I'm going to think about uh, on the day, you know, at least once a week, taking them off and letting them air out overnight. Uh oh. Okay. 
Okay, now we just got one left. And definitely, if you guys do it this way, be sure and hold down, you know, I would at least hold down these at least a minute each and just keep kind of pressing on them for a while to make sure they're good and attached. I'm not doing a whole lot right now because I'm on camera, but if I wasn't on camera, I would. And I am going to do more in a second. Oh, on this thumb, I didn't do it. I might need to touch up the black a little bit more, too. Okay, so let's move stuff out of the way. This is what it looks like. I'm going to be doing some more pressing. And I am going to do a clear, quick dry top coat as soon as I'm positive that they're uh, on good and that I don't have to press down anymore. And I hope you like that. I hope you have fun. And be sure and try out the non-gel methods. And um, I like these ballerina shape. I hadn't worn those in a while. So that's the reason I wanted to do that shape. Because I believe me, I've got plenty of gel I can use. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.